The Master's Mysteries, Tales of Magical Mastery, Episode 71. After the tiger demon returned to its own cave, it noticed that the mountain cat spirit sisters were not there. Its heart stirred, and then it sensed that its kind, which it had arranged to guard the immortal cave, was in a battle with someone. It knew that someone had come to seize the treasure. Hastening over, it coincidentally encountered Leo Fengdi, who had killed its guardian tiger. Now, he couldn't restrain himself any longer, let out a loud roar, and engaged in battle with Leo Fengi. The battle erupted fiercely from the start. Both sides were determined to defeat the other, displaying an appearance of not relenting until one was dead. After a loud crash, Leo Fengi felt as though he had been struck by a massive boulder, and his body was sent flying back seven or eight meters, crashing heavily onto the ground. When he got back up, the tiger demon had also been pushed back a few steps, but was considerably stronger than him, indicating its ferocity. However, this tiger demon had never suffered such a setback before. It knew that the person before it was no ordinary opponent, so it fixed its icy gaze on Leo Fengi and took a deep breath. Suddenly, the tiger demon opened its big mouth, followed by a furious roar. But this roar was somewhat unusual. The sound didn't seem to spread but instead formed a tremendous force, charging straight toward Leo Fengi. Initially, Leo Fengi didn't realize the severity of this attack. However, when the sound approached, it pierced his eardrums, causing intense pain. Every pore on his body trembled as if his eardrums were about to tear apart. A roar stirred up the thick fog in the mountain stream, and the mist rose high into the air. Leo Fengi hastily covered his ears, recalling what his master had once said. When encountering a loud noise, open your mouth wide and shout as well. But after he shouted, his voice was completely drowned out by that furious roar. After shouting, Leo Fengi opened his hands in confusion. He found that the surroundings had become eerily silent. Even when Little Butterfly and Black Fox shouted with wide open mouths, he couldn't hear a sound. Could he be deaf? Although he couldn't hear their voices, Liao Fengi could still understand their gestures. He turned his head and saw that the tiger demon had already pounced in front of him. Because he couldn't hear any sound, his reaction was much slower, and he was hit hard this time. Fengi, come back quickly. Liao Fengi felt a momentary blur before his body was sent flying. No meat. His body slid far along the ground shattering countless rocks along the way. At this point, he was in severe pain all over his body. Damn it. I'm not deaf. I can hear now. But because of that impact, it was too intense, and my blood rushed. My ears can pick up a faint sound now. This made Leo Fengi feel relieved. I won't spare this guy. This incident rekindled Leo Fengi's fighting spirit. He had thought that even if the tiger demon was formidable in its true form, he should be able to handle it himself. It seemed he had to go all out now. The impact has also made me realize that, as a Martian practitioner, I shouldn't engage the tiger demon head-on. With this thought, he formed several hand seals and laid down a simple formation around his body. At this moment, the tiger demon charged once again. Perfect timing. The formation Liao Fengi set up didn't possess any killing power, but it slowed down the airflow, causing all attacks that entered the formation to be slightly delayed. Now it's my turn. Indeed, the tiger demon's attack was momentarily delayed as it entered the formation, and Liao Fengi seized the opportunity. To give credit where it's due, the tiger demon was quite agile. While being sent flying, it swiftly adjusted its body in mid-air and landed firmly on the ground. Not only that, it opened its large mouth, tilted its head, and took a deep breath, causing its chest to swell. Then it leaped forward once again. Upon reaching Liao Fengi, it opened its mouth wide and roared fiercely, launching an attack with a familiar move. Although the formation could slow down the attack, Liao Fengi didn't dare to be careless after the previous setback. He quickly grabbed a massive rock and placed it in front of himself. However, the rock in his hand was instantly reduced to rubble. 
As the shattered stones scattered, the tiger demon, seeing Liu Fengyi behind the debris, prepared to launch another attack. He didn't want to give Liu Fengyi the slightest chance. With a single palm strike, he aimed to send Liu Fengyi flying, but then he saw Liu Fengyi's hands clasped together, radiating a burst of golden light, which struck right in front of him. The powerful energy sent the tiger demon's body flying seven or eight meters away. However, Liu Fengyi quickly realized that the tiger demon was exceptionally strong, and its thick skin and sturdy body had not been harmed. Several successful strikes by Liu Fengyi in quick succession stirred the tiger demon's wild nature, and its beastly characteristics became more apparent. After a wild roar, the tiger demon charged forward again, and this time, its attack was noticeably stronger and faster. Initially thinking of directly facing this move, Liao Fengyi saw the fierce tiger demon and realized that he would surely be at a disadvantage if he did so. He remembered his master and little butterfly, advising him to work on his impulsive nature. It seemed he really needed to change. As the tiger demon attacked closely, Liao Fengyi leaped quickly to evade. Only then did he realize that his choice was the right one. The tiger demon's rage had made its attack truly powerful. The tiger demon was furious that its full force attack had missed its target. It turned back, its gaze fixed menacingly on Liao Fengyi. Without giving Liao Fengyi a chance to react, its sharp claws swiped toward him. Do you really think I'm afraid of you? Evading further would go against Liao Fengyi's style. When he saw the tiger demon pounce, his determination surge, he bit down, channeling his kai throughout his body and concentrating it in his hand. As the tiger demon pounced in front of him, Liao Fengyi swiftly dodged its attack, and at the same time, the concentrated ki struck the tiger demon's body. However, this strike still didn't inflict any damage on the tiger demon. It regained its balance and prepared to attack again. Liao Fengyi wasn't naive. He couldn't keep passively taking hits, seizing a moment to catch his breath. He quickly formed several hand seals, summoning a celestial Kai descending demon sealing thunder. A dazzling golden light struck the tiger demon rapidly. This time, the tiger demon took a substantial hit. Its body was sent flying and crashed heavily onto the ground. Die! Seeing the tiger demon finally brought down, Liao Fengyi changed from defense to offense and refused to give it a chance to rise again. With a wave of his hand, he launched a powerful Kai attack right at its face. It was a solid hit, and even though the tiger demon was formidable, this blow shattered its spiritual essence. Onlookers anxiously watched the battlefield, afraid to miss a moment. But reality once again surprised everyone. The tiger demon somehow escaped from this intense blow. As it turned out, the tiger demon had recently consumed many human hearts and had fallen into the dark path. Its current cultivation level was no longer comparable to ordinary monsters. Combined with its fierce true form, its combat prowess had greatly increased. Liao Fengi's momentary distraction was seized by the tiger demon, which roared and attacked. Although the attack couldn't be fully unleashed due to the close distance, it was still enough to harm Liao Fengi. Liao Fengi was sent flying far once again, crashing onto the ground. The tiger demon closely watched his flying body. Before Liao Fengi could get up, the tiger demon had already pounced. At this point, it was too late to evade. Liao Fengi gathered all his kai into two fingers and aimed it at the tiger demon. In reality, the tiger demon was already weakened from consecutive ki attacks. This time, being so close, the key struck directly at its heart. The tiger demon's body was immediately sent flying, and by this time, Liao Fengi, exhausted, fell backward. His vision darkened as he passed out. This intense battle left everyone stunned. But who was the ultimate victor in this human's beast showdown?